Well, hey, Agape City, Brad here coming to you from the, the basement office, the home layer, and, uh, and I'm excited to share with you uh, in today's, what we're going to call these, we're going to call these love lessons. Every Thursday on our social media, we're going to post a different love lesson, kind of unpack the namesake of our church community. We, we, we called our name Agape City Church. Now that word agape may be a new word to you, uh, but this is not a, should not be a new word to followers of God. Uh, this is a word that's in the Bible, and it's a word that means unconditional love or, or love in action. Um, there's three words for love typically in the Greek. You have eros, which is kind of your erotic love. That's kind of the uh, how you do in love. Uh, then we have phylos, which is like your brotherly love. You think about the city of Philadelphia, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Um, and But agape is a different love. Agape is a love that is not based on just appearances or desire. Agape is a love that's not based on kinship or, you know, a bloodline. Agape is is true, unconditional, undeserved love shown to you. And I'll give you one verse today that kind of highlights it, and that's probably the most famous agape verse, probably the agape verse that even if you were never raised in church, you saw for sure at a college or high school or professional football game. Uh, that's John chapter 3, verse 16, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God so agape this world. And here's the thing I love about that verse. The word world. God so loved everyone. He loved Americans. He loved people in China. He loves people in Russia. He loves people in India. God loves all people. He loves women and men. God so loves all the world. He loves every ethnicity and race. God so loved the world. He loves those who even hate him. God so agape this world. He gave us Jesus so that those of us who call on him can have eternal life. Let's help people learn the name of Jesus so that they can have that same chance at eternal life this week. Love you guys. See you next Thursday for a love lesson.